Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Monitor series. Today we're going to be looking at the BW Gas Alert Micro. It's a four gas meter from BW. What you're going to need is the monitor itself, a 0.5 liter per minute regulator, the calibration cup with the tubing. Also, this they give you the passcode to unlock the calibration functions. Final thing you need is a cylinder of trusted calibration gas. We use Ideal Gases Blend, and this one you're going to need by default for BW: 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LEL methane, 18% oxygen, and then a nitrogen balance on it. Always make sure, by the way, that your calibration gas isn't expired. Most cal gas has an expiration of one year on it because of the hydrogen sulfide. Okay, let's get started. In order to start the monitor, you're going to hold this button right here, and it'll run through a self-check. When it starts up, go through the alarms and everything along those lines. I do like this monitor because it's nice and small. The only problem is hitting these buttons is a real pain sometimes. So always make sure when you press and you press in real firmly on them. Now that Cal do, by the way, said 276 days. We don't stand by that here. You should always calibrate your gas monitor every 30 days by OSHA spec. And on top of that, you should bump test them every day before they go out into the field just to make sure that all the sensors are working and haven't been poisoned. Okay, looks like we're good to start here. Now, in order to calibrate it, you're going to hold down the blue button on the left and the down arrow on the right and press them both at the same time. Wait for a few beeps. Now let's say cal. Now it's going to start off going into a zero. So what we'll do, while this is going, is put the tubing on the regulator. Now, when I start doing this, you'll notice it comes up and it says calibration locked and it asks for a code. Hold down, and we're going to go to 898 for this one. And then hit the blue button on the left. Now it's looking for the gas. So what we'll do. We're going to open up our regulator here. Make sure it's always open. You never want to put a closed regulator on a cylinder of cal gas. Screw it in. Wait till you hear the gas. Close off your regulator. Fix the top of the cal cup. Make sure you get it nice and tight. And then begin flowing your gas. Again, make sure this is nice and snug here. Don't want to escape out the side. And also another thing to look out for, see how the tubing's kinked a little bit here? Kind of want to keep that as minimal as possible if we can. Don't want to kink in the tubing to impede the flow of the gas here. Now while it's calibrating, you're going to notice some numbers bouncing around on here. The computer will automatically set everything down to 25 for H2S, 100 for CO, and 50 for the LEL. This unit does calibrate to 50% LEL methane, or 2.5% by volume. One thing you notice about this monitor is it does take quite a bit of time to calibrate, so just make sure that you have plenty of gas in the cylinder first. Don't want to run out of gas in the middle of the calibration. All this calibrating, I'd like to thank John from ST Communications for providing us with the gas monitor here to make this video. He's lending us a number of these ones for free just so we can make these for you. You can find him online on eBay if you're looking to purchase a used monitor. And the eBay store name is It's M E J T O. So that's I T S M E J T O. He's got a number of monitors for sale on there that are top quality.
and you can see it's still spanning so even though I think it's been a while if you look here in the bottom you see where it's still saying auto span that means it's still calibrating Okay, now we're all done. First thing you do, is turn off the ca calibration gas cylinder. Now, the first thing it's saying here is note that the uh, calibration gas is unusual on this one, and that's because we had it off when we started off. So just hit accept now. Put the button on the blue on the left. Now it says no, it spans accepted. That's okay, we originally had some different cal gas on here. That's going to go into a nice full reset. See, it'll show the alarms like this. All you want to do is go ahead and click this button here, the upper left, and let it go down. And what it's going to do is it's going to reset down to zero. And while that's going, we're going to take the regulator off the cylinder of calibration gas. You never want to leave a regulator on the cylinders in case it tips over, falls off, it'll break the valve, any number of things can go on. So we always take that off. Okay, we're almost back down to zero now. Uh, I have heard the myth that if you turn off a gas monitor while there's still gas in it, that it will upset your values. Uh, Again, that's just a myth. You can turn it off at any time. I like to make sure it goes down to zero just so I make sure I'm happy with the monitor. But if you turn it off, it's not going to cause any problems. One thing you will run into occasionally if there's some gas lingering there, if you turn it off and then immediately turn it back on, occasionally it'll auto zero on startup, and you don't want it to accept those values where there's already gas in there as your zero point. But as you can tell, down to zero, zero, 20.9 and zero. That means we're okay to go. So all you're going to do is hold in the button here on the left. until it goes into off and now we're all set well I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions you can give us a call over here at Ideal Calibrations at 734-365-7192 how about is that I almost forgot our, forgot our own phone number here or you can send me an email james at idealcalibrations.com and visit our web website www.idealcalibrations.com thank you much hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep safe out there